episode. Sorry, it's been a couple weeks since I've posted and had a few things going on. We are starting off today in an interesting situation. I've come out here to Rocky Mountain Wildlife Arsenal again. This is my third time out here. I love it out here. I was originally planning on going up to Rocky Mountain National Park, but I was having a really hard time sleeping, and that's a three-hour drive from where I live in Colorado Springs. So I decided to just, instead of risk a three-hour drive uh, with no sleep, I decided to actually try and get a few hours and come up here instead. And, you know, right now, I'm kind of glad we did because we're starting off today in a very kind of cool and interesting scenario. Uh, you guys know that I like doing a little bit of wildlife photography, aside from, you know, the traditional landscape. And it's always something different when I come up to Rocky Mountain uh, Wildlife Arsenal here. And today is no exception, because as I'm pulling on to the scenic wildlife drive, I have already found a predator-prey interaction scenario. As I was driving up here, I'm driving past this prairie dog town, and these are lined all over the place up here. And they were all just out of their burrows, squawking and squeaking. And I'm thinking to myself, prairie dogs only really do this if they think they see a predator. And I had a couple of bikers in front of me, and I saw them point to something. I'm like, what, what are they seeing? And there's a big, 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 big hawk out here. He's just sitting on the ground. He's got a dead prairie dog. And this is... Oh, and he's just going to town. This, he, this must be his breakfast. He's just going to town on this prairie dog that it's captured. Uh, he or she, you know, I can't tell if it's a boy hawk or a girl hawk. But... Really cool way to start off this morning here. I've already captured a few photos. These prairie dogs are just losing their minds right now. So, I'm going to just put the vlog camera down here, see if I can capture a few more photos, and uh, yeah, start off our morning up here at Rocky Mountain Wildlife Arsenal. So, I'm sorry about the framing of this shot, and I'm sorry if it's being so badly exposed right now. I do apologize about that. This bird is the wackiest hawk that I have ever seen and ever photographed. It's just moseying about, it's hopping on one leg to the other, it's picking up sticks, it's picking up bushes. Oh, that, damn! Crap, crap, crap! Oh! Oh, he just, oh. As I was talking to you guys, it, he flew up, and he's flown up into a tree right now. I'm going to try and see if I can move up here and get another shot. Oh, this is really fun. I love doing wildlife photography. It's such a nice break from the usual. This bird's, this, this hawk is really fun to photograph right now. I'm going to see if I can't move up here a little bit. Okay, so I've stopped just right here because the hawk has just stopped in this big tree right here. It's just cleaning its feathers. This is so, so cool right now. It was in another tree earlier as we were driving past and I saw a nest, which tells me that this might be a female hawk. Again, I don't know what species it is. It might be a harrier hawk. It might be, it's not a red tail. I know that for sure. But it's so cool. Have I said that too many times already? Sorry. But it's so cool. 
um, Yeah, it's just in this tree cleaning its feathers right now. I didn't try to get any photographs of it when it was in this nest because hawks and their nests can be a very dangerous combination. I know I'm in my car right now, but I would rather just leave this guy alone, or girl, I'd rather just leave this hawk alone and use my big tail photo lens here to get some photos from afar. So, I'm just going to snap a couple more quick photos of this bird and I think we're just gonna move along because I'm gonna let this beautiful bird just get back to its get back to its day and uh, just see what other animals we can find out here today I see some bison out along the way here I've seen pictures coming out of this place some deer with some fawns so yeah I think we're just gonna keep moving along here gorgeous animal though them I saw these little yellow birds flopping around everywhere and I think I managed to get one maybe two images and everybody stopped up here ahead of me so I wonder what else they're seeing um, but I got one maybe two images of these little birds coming off coming out of the ground carrying um, um, some grass and some straw and uh, I think they're building a nest. I tried to get some video, but it's really hard on the telephoto lens to isolate what people are, or not people, I'm sorry, what animals are doing. And I'm just kind of taking my time here and just moseying along and just kind of trying to see what other little birds and animals we could find. That was really cool though. Those are kind of a nice, brilliant shade of yellow. I think somebody told me they were warbles or wobbles. I'm probably butchering that entirely. Some lady who was driving past me and asking what I saw. So yeah, not quite the adventure I'd hoped to have planned today because who wants to see me just sitting in my car? But this is pretty cool. You know, taking advantage of the fact that, you know, me not being able to get any sleep. Uh, so I, I really missed my opportunity to go up the Rocky Mountain National. I was getting up here today, the traffic through Denver was horrendous. So it's nice to just be able to just get out here and kind of just enjoy myself and just kind of drive along and if a photo pops up, if a bird or something else pops up, maybe snap a photo. So. Well, I've stopped here just for a second because there's a couple of deer in this wooded area. I think they're whitetail. I haven't seen any whitetail deer out here before. So that's kind of cool. I haven't seen any whitetail deer in a really, really long time. So that's also really cool. Just fired off a couple of pictures. They're looking much better. <laughs> They've got their summer coats on now, so they're not looking nearly as ratty as they were back in, like, January or February when I was here last. So, this one doe is just kind of out in front of me right here. She's gorgeous. It's definitely a white tail. I just saw her swishing her tail. Not a bad way. I know I've said this 
a few times already, but not a bad way to spend my morning. Oh, there's a third deer out in the distance here. Oh, that's cool. Haven't seen any baby deer. I know this is around the time where they have fawns. Could be lying down in the grass, or could just be not around here at all. It doesn't matter. If I see one, I see one. If not, hey. Never a bad day when you're doing a little wild left time. some kind of metal arc um, birds gorgeous little um, yellow stripes down the ooh, dragonfly uh, <laughs> gorgeous little yellow stripes down their um, um, center and then they've got like the speckled wings they're very and they're loud like and they're very pretty birds I've seen about a half dozen popping up on either side of the road here very hard to get a stable shot of because they they like to move around so quickly. Today really has just been all about kind of the bird photography today, which that's something different for me. I don't usually do a lot of bird photography. So I think just going to keep moving along, finish up this route here, and um, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see another big hawk. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a, uh, see a kestrel again. Remember the last time I was out here, we saw a kestrel, and that was really cool, so... Maybe we'll see one more of those. So, yeah. wildlife loop and you know what we are at almost 11 a.m. the sun is almost dead smack up high we're gonna start getting some really harsh light and so I'm thinking we're probably just gonna call it a day here head back to Colorado Springs get these photos edited and yeah so a very short video today you know, that's kind of what happens when your plans get derailed. Like I told you guys earlier, I decided to value getting some sleep and not driving drowsy over trying to uh, go up to Rocky Mountain National and be completely useless and have just a crap, <laughs> basically what probably would have been a crap experience because of how tired I would have been, especially at that high of an altitude. So, uh, yeah, we're going to end the video today here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know it's kind of been a little less uh, a little less exciting, you know, me mostly in the car. But, you know, driving around Rocky Mountain Arsenal is always a fun time. You know, it doesn't matter what time of year it is. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next series of three videos. Um, I'll have content coming from a trip that I'm going to be going on. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys where because I like to kind of keep people guessing you know, make it a little bit more special. So make sure you stay tuned for that content here. It'll be coming up, not next week, but here in a couple weeks. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a good adventure and I will see you all out on the trail. And 
hopefully not from my car. <laughs>